Hey there. Yep, I'm talking to you, sitting with your eyes glued to that tiny screen you always carry in your hand. Are you feeling lost in life? As if you've misplaced that spark you felt was keeping you alive. Or maybe life has let you down, hasn't turned out as you expected it to. And that's why you're feeling rudderless and adrift. Whatever the reason, if you're feeling lost in life, then don't fret. You're not the only one in this boat. Just look around you. You'll find so many people feeling the same way. And it's not really a surprise, seeing as life itself has a way of chewing you up and spitting you out on the curb at times. Every individual grows up with many hopes, dreams and aspirations. But along the way, these goals and targets somehow get all muddled up and we end up feeling alone and afraid. The truth is, this can be a difficult situation. When you're feeling lost in life, you tend to lose your sense of purpose. After all, it's no secret that the real world is a hard place and you have to keep fighting every moment to get where you want to go. But the moment you lose sight of your goal, the struggle becomes meaningless and hopeless. And this is the situation with so many people around you. No matter how hard we try to impress others with our sharp rise up the corporate ladder, fancy cars and the latest gadgets, at the end of the day, many of us do feel empty and drained of purpose in life. But what can you do when you're feeling lost and hopeless? How do you get back to where you want to be? Worse still, what if you don't know where you want to be and where you want to go in the first place? Every person lives three lives at the same time, their past, present and future. We're all motivated or demotivated by the events that have happened in our past. If our past has been a largely positive experience, we feel motivated to take life by the horns and charge forward at full speed. On the other hand, negative experiences tend to drag us away from the path we want to be on. The future also plays a part in this, as our hopes and dreams are all a part of our future lives. But if the past has been bitter, then the future seems clouded with its grim shadow, and soon thoughts of hopelessness begin to creep into our hearts and minds. Due to this dual action of the past dragging us down and the future keeping us scared, most of us lose our way. So. The essential step you can take to get back on track is to focus on today. The present is the one time that we have complete control over. The past cannot be changed, nor the future determined. But the present time is all we have, and we need to use it to the fullest advantage. So, no matter what has happened to you in the past, and what you might fear will happen in the future, there's only one thing to do with it. Let it go. Instead, focus on the present, act in the now, and you'll find the path becoming a lot clearer than before. The trouble is, in the quest to find our way in life, we often lose the very essence of living, that wonderful sense of uncertainty. Just imagine if you woke up every morning knowing exactly what you'd do throughout the day and with complete knowledge of everything that would happen to you. Life would be pretty dull with all that certainty, wouldn't it? The truth is, we currently live in a society that's focused on determined outcomes. In every aspect from business to careers, and even relationships, we are averse to exploring risks. Before taking each step, we want to measure every ounce of it so that the results are profitable and in our favour. And it's this intense focus on finding the right course that often leads us to be lost. After all, if you think about it with a clear mind, life is actually a gamble, a game where you never know how the dice will turn. This element of chance is what lends flavour to life in the first place. In fear of being lost, we try to eliminate the chance factor from every aspect of life. This only leads to life becoming boring unchallenging and in the end causes us to believe that we've lost our way when in reality being lost can often be a good thing if you're feeling you don't yet know your goal or purpose in life that means you have an ocean of options available right in front of you 
The only thing you need to do now is to focus on what you're doing at the moment and explore new options as they come along your way. Eventually, you are going to reach new shores where you might just find exactly what you were looking for all your life. So, if you're still feeling lost, then we recommend you don't try to fight or escape it. Instead, embrace and acknowledge that you're feeling lost. And then, set out to explore the new, take chances, make mistakes, and along the way, learn to find what you love. At the end of the day, none of us truly know what's our true north. We can only attempt to find out. But if we persist with patience and perseverance, then there's sure to come a time when instead of us finding the right way, the right way will find us.